Hello everybody, it's Christine. It is time for a scrapbook process video. And this layout is gonna be very special to me. Um, this photo, I'll tell you about the photo when I'm explaining it, but this photo is my dad. It's a screenshot from a um, FaceTime from yesterday. And I'll explain that in a minute. But I'm gonna show you the collection. It's the Storyteller Collection with Cocoa Vanilla. And I'm gonna use, I'm a little bit sad because I do love this wood grain. But I think I'm gonna use uh, this one with the little plus signs on it because they look kind of like crosses and kind of like medical stuff. Um, and then I kind of have this and I thought about maybe using this. I hadn't figured out if I do do that. I might do that though, because I had this from another layout that I trimmed, uh, you know, I had made corners. And I thought, well, that's kind of clever. I can use this, so I might use this. And of course, I have all these other pages here to work with, but I don't know yet what I'm gonna use other than I think that page there. So I will have to do that. Of course, I have a ton of the ephemera, hearts, you know, things like this. Um, something I'm really gonna get out of this, I'm gonna definitely use this little tag. It says, this story is so good. So I for sure wanna use that and I'll explain again uh, in just a minute when I start working on the layout. And then of course I have this cardstock stickers. And there's like little arrows, little tags and stuff like that. So I'm sure I can figure something out. So, uh, these are just the scraps. I do not know if I'm going to use the scraps. I do like that painted thing, but that's not probably going to go right with that piece. So, I'm going to set it aside for the moment. So, let me um, get myself organized. Like I said, I know I want to use this, and I'm thinking maybe this. But let me get some organization or some thoughts going on with my design in the middle here. And I'll come back on in a second. All right, talk soon. Well, y'all, I'm not going to pretend, pretend the design in the middle was all that fancy, if I'm honest. <laughs> it basically became the picture and then just a little bit of clustering around there. But um, So what I did first is I did take that little diagonal piece that I mentioned to you, and I did scuff the, side of the, the sides that are going to be to the interior of the paper. Um, the corners here, I did not scuff those because I'm going to put those on the edges. Now, I'll end up having to trim one of them just a tad because I think... I don't know if I've cut down this little cross paper too much or what happened, <laughs> but one side was just a tad longer and I messed with it for just a second here. So you can kind of see me pedal pooting around here. Um, and honestly, it's because I noticed that that lower right corner was just a little bigger, but I thought, well, okay, so maybe I just put it on there wrong. And then I go, no, I didn't really put it on there wrong. So y'all see me messing with this for just a second. I am going to triple mat the photo. Um, I did print the, the phone screenshot with a border because I was having difficulty with my selfie. When I printed it without the border, it just, it like made you, half my face disappeared and, and stuff I wanted to have in the picture disappeared. So I ended up putting it with a border um, and I left it kind of a bigger border on there. And then I triple matted, I put on the heart paper with the green behind that. And then that little tone on tone, not really tone on, the kind of tone on tone, it's like a corally color. And I just triple matted it with all that. So let me go ahead and just tell you about this picture here. So this picture was a FaceTime I got last night. And it's because my dad, um, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you may have seen some older videos from a year ago now where he was admitted to the hospital. Um, he did catch the, the dreaded virus and he went to the hospital and it just went downhill from there and they ended up intubating him and ventilator and I mean if you could he had it as bad as you could have it and not die and frankly I think he almost did die several times um they actually told my my bonus mom she should probably have him uh essentially the machines turned off about five times and she's a warrior my my mom is my bonus mom is a gladiator and a warrior and she loves my dad so that was just not going to happen in her watch so um she fought for him got him the best doctor and that doctor was phenomenal and, um, anyways, he's had a long battle though. He's, he, you know, he did finally get off the ventilator with that doctor. Um, I think he was on it for about three, three and a half months, four months, something like that. Finally got off of it. We've had him in a, he was in an LTAC for a while. He went over to a skilled nursing facility to try to get him. He was still on oxygen. Anyway, my point is he's been in a really long battle. It's been a little over a year now. It's a year and five days the day I got this call. And one of his major milestones is we have to get him off this trach, um, because he really can't do... He's been on a feeding tube, too, so it's been a real challenge to get him the right nourishment. My head, my dad actually lost 100 pounds uh, throughout this ordeal. He was a He's a good-sized man. He's six foot three. He weighed about 260, so he was a little bit fluffy, but he wasn't terribly large. Um, but he's down to about 158, so he's very small now compared. Um, that all being said, he's very alert, and he talks, and he just, in fact, if you go, he'll tell you stories all day long. I, I'll go visit him every week. Um, he's Luckily, he's only about 30 minutes from me in the hospital, so I'll go at least once a week, sometimes a couple times a week if I can get away from work. 
Um, and he'll just sit and we just talk for hours and hours and he's, he's very alert and it's all, he's been frustrated because he doesn't want to be in the hospital anymore, if you can imagine. So this milestone was he had to get this trach out and, um, I didn't know it was, the doctor's been kind of changing sizes and doing different things. And I get a phone call last night and they've taken that trach out and that is a huge, huge milestone. I, I can't even express it. So when they called me last night, I was just ugly crying but I had to take a screenshot because he was so excited. Um, he knows that the hardware, he calls it the hardware, has been removed. So he has no more feeding tube and no more trach. And he is now going to start getting uh, proper rehab. So now he can do proper rehab. So extremely exciting day for our family. Um, long time coming. And frankly, we were told many times it probably wouldn't come. And they were wrong. So faith and prayer does does work, let me just tell you. Um, so what I decided on this layout, I'll get back to the layout now. Um, I did decide that the title I wanted to make it, our story is lovely. Um, it's a, it's a tough story, but it's, it's having a good ending, I guess is my point. It's, it's hanging in there, you know, it's just hanging on to that faith. So our story is lovely. Um, so I've got that as the title and then I have, uh, I've started just pulling out the ephemera here. I'm just sorting through it and I got a little frame up there. I will end up cutting that frame in half because I don't really want to waste it and I'll end up using it on the left side over there, but I'm just kind of figuring out what can I stick in here. So I got that little frame. I picked up a little deal, the ephemera that says noteworthy. Um, there's a little round. Some of these are stickers too. I'm going to get in the sticker sheet in just a second, uh, but I put, these are the ephemera pieces. Actually, that noteworthy might be a sticker too, now that I say that, that little rainbow thing. And then lower right down there, I pulled out that camera and I have a little, the, the little tag I mentioned to you that I wanted to use, which is this story is so good. I've got that. And then I found a little circle of ephemera that said, take note. And I covered up that hole with that. And then I'm pulling out these, uh, well, I'm looking at the chipboard. I don't think I actually end up using any of that chipboard now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm just going to start building out uh, these, this, there's a little cluster on the left side that I'll build out and one at the top and the lower right down there. And so I'm going to start getting into the sticker sheets. And at first I started taking the backing off. And I thought, well, no, Christine, that's actually makes it easy to move around. So don't do that. <laughs> so I left it on there. So I'm going to stick a little tag coming out the side at first. Um, I thought about kind of, you know, I've moved it around here, obviously. I was kind of thinking to myself what, where I want it to go. Um, and I put it over to the side there. Again, this is, I'm, in a minute, I'm going to decide to cut that frame up. But first I find this little sticker here and it says, but first let me take a selfie because my dad is holding the uh, phone uh, my stepmom, actually, the the blue that you see there is her hand in a glove. Um, since he's had that trach removed, he has a hole in his throat. It's not very large, she says. It's less than the size of a quarter, but it's essentially a hole. So for him to talk, he has to cover it. So she's helping him with that because he's still, um, he's weak. You know, he's shaky. He has, he can uh, do some things, but he's, he's kind of clumsy and shaky. So she's trying to help him out there because obviously he just got it taken out. So he's just having to do that. And so anyway, she's helping. That's her hand there. I find this little uh, sticker here that says the details, and I'm going to end up writing the date on there, and I'll write one year and five days later. And so now I have the little noteworthy, and I've got the little frame up there, and I've got that other deal. Um, here's where I'm kind of messing with this tag, and I find a little um, fishtail banner that says so happy, and then one that says love right now. And this is where I decide, you know what, let's go ahead and just cut this frame, because I need to have it I needed to see kind of what it was going to look like over on the left side. I knew kind of that I wanted it there. I just wasn't sure how much or whatever. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I pull that over there. i got cat hairs, y'all. That cat, she's always into my stuff. Um, anyways, I'm going to put that little tag there. And i got my little banners going on. Um, and then I'm going to look at the various little pieces here. I don't end up pulling in any of those pieces. I will. I do have that little banner down there. And I don't think I add anything else down there from the ephemera pack. I think I'm kind of deciding this is basically what I want in the way of the ephemera. I will end up pulling out some little word phrase stickers um, toward the end. But this is kind of where I'm at with these pieces here. Um, I'll also end up pulling off the foam hearts on the black titles up there. Because I don't want the black only in the upper left. So I'm going to end up bringing some down. I thought about the butterflies, but I thought they don't really make any sense. Um, I mean, there's some florals and hearts and stuff on here, but not a ton. To, well, I guess there's a little florals now that I'm looking at this on these tags and things. But anyways, um, so I've kind of decided to put all the ephemera away. And this is where I'm looking at the sticker sheet with the word phrases here. And I pull out one that says thankful for this and one that says um, adore this photo. So I was trying to figure out where I want it. I ended up putting it down underneath that little frame there. And then I'm going to, this is where I think next is I decide that I want these hearts. So yeah, I go, I don't want the black in the, just the upper left. So I'll end up bringing three little black hearts down here on the right. 
And then I decide I want to use some of the little enamel hearts as well. So I'm going to end up putting enamel hearts in three places. So I'll end up with three hearts um, of the enamel ones. So I'm going to be three, 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 three. <laughs> this is where I'm just kind of finding the little colors. And I'm just kind of making them mix and match a little bit. And the sizes too. I just want a little bit different sizes. I did not ink anything. I thought about doing some sprinkles. But by this point, I've got, you know, I think I've said this before. I start to go in and I think, good grief, Christine, you, you better slow down. You got so much crap going on. <laughs> But I really do like how this layout turned out. Um, maybe because it's the story more than the actual layout in some sense. But I am I am happy with it. Um, I may write some stuff on the back just explaining everything else that I've just told you. But here's the slowdown so you can kind of see it up close. I love this collection too. Um, again, like I said, this is a pretty special layout to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far. And I guess I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.